Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a game called Imperion Galactic Survival on the Radio Man 03. It's awesome to have you along. It's Friday. Before we go to space, we got to find some way to get to space. So in order to get to space, we got to have a ship that flies to space. So I'll make it an SV so we can fly to space. That's the goal here today is to get an SV built and get us into space. Hope you guys are doing great. I'm doing fantastic. Like I said, it's Friday. So I mean, how could I not be doing well, right? I mean, come on. It's Friday. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of uh, tapering the back of the ship a little bit uh, for the front end. I'm making it sort of like Mac, kind of keeping that theme of the, the nose. By the way, thank you so much more for all the tips that came in about Mac and what we could possibly do to make him better. Am I got this off? No, I don't. I don't think I have it off. I don't know. I don't know. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I'm going to put you right there. And we are going to fill this in with blocks because that's the front end of the ship. And they just love to shoot the front end of the ship, don't they? They just love to shoot the front end of our ships. We're going to do that right there and close that off. Uh, yeah, we got it right. Boom, boom. Boom and a boom. There we go. Okay, so what I've got is I've got two Gatlin guns on the front. And i got two rocket launchers in the front. And there's a light in the middle there. Just kind of poking out. And we're going to stick a... We're actually going to stick one of these guys right here over the top of that hole right there. And like a so. There we go. And that should keep the, hopefully, the light a little bit protected. It's not going to block the light, but it should keep it protected a little bit more. Uh, the guts are in here, including a warp drive engine and a warp drive fuel tank. That's all in here, along with two generators and one, two, three, three fuel tanks or two fuel tanks. I think it's two fuel tanks, two generators, one warp drive, and one warp fuel tank. All inside here. Mm-hmm. Now I got some good news, and I got some bad news. At the very moment, I do not have the materials necessary in order to make a CV building block to start a CV. I know. What a loser, right? <laughs> what a loser. Doesn't even have what he needs to make the ship, and he can't get this block to behave right. There we go. Boom, just like that. Um. So I'm not. I'm not sure what I could do. Uh, to remedy that situation. What am I doing here? Up there. There we go. Bingo. Just like that. I think I've got enough thrusters inside storage that I could possibly do that. Uh, if, you know, I could take the thrusters and tear them down. I think I could put them in the deconstructor and tear them down and they would work out... It would work out okay. I think. Not too sure about that. But I'm willing to give it a shot with one of the thrusters. I guess we could find out what the thrusters are made of, put it in there, and then see if that works. Oh, there we go. You can be taught. There we go. Bingo, just like that. And another one of these right up in here, like so. Okay, let's work on the, the belly of the beast first and get this kind of worked out. We're going to need something like this. I want to be able to go inside of our ship. It's just a requirement of me. I, I, I like building the cockpits. I was looking at some Star Trek shuttles and you guys had mentioned that you thought Mac kind of had that feel to him of a Star Wars shuttle. A Star Trek shuttle, I should say. And I was looking them up and looking at pictures and I thought, well, we'll kind of, we'll kind of loosely base it on something like that and just have some fun with it and see what we come up with. You know what I mean? Jelly bean. I thought we'd do something like that. Let's go ahead and fill in that little gap right there. Like so. And I like a so there. Okay, so I think we can probably pull that back to here. Like that. And... Why do I feel like I am off by one here? I'm not. It's just really playing a trick on my eyes right now. That's what it's doing. It's just tricking my eye. And we're going to bring this under here. I'm just trying to taper the body... Uh, up underneath the belly of the ship here real quick and boom and boom there we go just like that okay beautiful and we could probably go one more <sighs> we I think we have to go one more let's take a look and see what is exactly underneath here yeah that is going to be the warp drive and stuff like that so we definitely need to do well, we're good. We're good right there. We should be good right there. Because we're not going to take, hopefully, too many shots from the, the bottom side of the ship. Let's take that one off of there. And I 
think to finish this off, this kind of this, this taper effect we've got going on here, we could just go like so. There we go. And then we need one more right here. There we go. Beautiful. Just like that. And coming over like that, like so. And bam. Let's see. How's that looking? How, how deep is that getting? It's not... Yeah, that's good. That's good. We, we want to stop right there, though. We don't want to go any further than that right there. Bam. Just like that. Let's go ahead and fill that in. And... That's weird. Yeah, that's good. Oh, you know what I could do, though? Here, hold on. We could just... We could smooth all this out. We could smooth all of this out. I'm not thinking here. Here we go. Just like so. We could just taper this off real nice. All the way down into the belly of the ship here. Bam. Just like that. And like that. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's good. That's good. Okay, so now we're up here. Uh, by the way, it let me take the core out of... The SV starter block hole, which I didn't think it would do, but I was able to take that out hole and move it back. I thought you always had to rebuild it, but it didn't make me do that. I wonder if I could do it again. It didn't do it that time. I wonder if it's got to be in the starter block. He's just a big liar. <laughs> no, really. It let me do that. I was so shocked that it came into my inventory. You know, the, but then again, I've never removed one of those, so I don't know exactly how all that works. Uh, that right there, and then we are going to need uh, a new one of those. Yes, we are going to need one of those. I've got some charges built up. Uh, 50 of them. Wow. Okay, I'm really generous to myself, aren't I? We'll just keep them all. We'll put some inside of uh, our ship here. Max little brother here the, the flying brother I was gonna try the wing blocks out but I'm not too thrilled about that I used this on a part and got some cobalt alloy back and stuff so that that was pretty cool so I'm thinking maybe if I take some of those initial thrusters that we've gotten off of the MS Titan and the DSC back and you know those those ships maybe I will uh, be able to uh, you know hold on to them all right and you are gonna go right here and you need to go here, like that. And then glass-wise, nope, glass-wise. Hmm. Is that too steep? This is probably better here. Huh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold the phone here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you know what? Maybe like that. And like that, and then I need... Oh, I can't get one more there because the cockpit's in the way. Okay, I see. Okay. All right, so what are we going to do here for this? Let's go to... Let's look at our glass choices again. Um... <laughs> If I go with something like that, I'm going to have to take this and taper that down a little bit. This is going to have to come down a little bit more. Like that, like that. Take that out of there. This is going to have to go to... Uh, this guy down here, I think, is going to be a better bet for this edge of the ship. We're going to take that one back out. Yeah, let's take that out of there. And then what we could do is we can come back with, say, this here. That there. This guy right here. I'll sit. I would sit in it, but I'm afraid I would. Uh, the the ship will drop if I do that. So yeah, I think that's good right there. Yeah, that's probably good for a cockpit window right there. Maybe. <sighs> this is preliminary here, so I don't know. Maybe maybe not here. We'll try one of these on the side. No, you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's let's at least make it look pretty cool if we can. Let's go with, um, I'm getting jammed up on the seat here. Something like that, maybe right there. Is there a separate one of those? There is. 
A left and a right. Okay, gotcha. Okay, how about like that right there? Let's go ahead and take these guys and put these in here for now. Because we know we're going to have to come up to that. I'm hoping that when we get out of the cockpit, it's going to just drop us off right next to the seat or just behind the seat, basically. Okay, so that's that. Um, we're going to have to come back with this here. We need a little more floor space because I want to have all the gears and, and stuff in here so that we can, uh, you know, come inside of this, this ship. Let's go ahead and F5. I don't want it to be too big either. I'm trying to stay small, but I tell you, ever since I built a couple of these other guys, I'm really having a difficult time doing that. It's just not, it's not easy for me to do small. Oh, wait. Oh, for Pete's sake. I can never... There we go. Like that there. Okay, beautiful. That one. Hopefully this one's just going to jump into place. Thank you for that. I certainly do appreciate that. And then... Um, is it... That guy right there that, that lines up with that? It is, but I don't like the way he looks there because he juts out and he wants to he wants to continue on. I don't want him to continue on. I want him to more or less kind of end right here. There we go. Let's bring that back to right about there. And... There we go. Again, two right about there. Should I have the symmetry on? Probably so. There we go, and... There we go, okay. Hmm. Looking kind of short and stout, isn't he? Almost feel like that cockpit needs to come back about three blocks to look a little bit better. But I was looking at those shuttle pictures and it's they're they're it's a pretty boxy little unit. You know, it's it's it is pretty boxy, so let's just run with it and see what we come up with. Welcome back. Just slept the night away, picked the farm, got some food being made up. Better put my helmet on because I don't have it on right now because I was inside. Uh, a little more progress is made. Let me take you out here and show you. F5. There we go. I've got a little bit of a fan out on the side here for the thrusters to push us forward to be tucked into. I don't want to go any further back than this. This backside is really kind of very rough sketch right now. Initially, I was going to put the thrusters back here, but I'm going to tuck it in a little bit more. I don't think I need quite as much space as I feel like I, I think I need in here for what I'm going to put in here. Uh, there's fewer things available for the SV than there is for the HV because the SV is pretty much built. If you get shot down, you're stuck out there. You're kind of stuck. Uh, you can't have any health, any health things on here or anything like that. It's just here you are. So if you get in trouble, you're in trouble. Uh, so this is what I've done so far. The cockpit changed a little bit. Uh, it's got a, a bit of a bigger roof on it. The glass is uh, similar to what is on Mac with the corner piece. But I needed to bump it up a level in order for it to be enough headroom for me to walk in there. Uh, if I didn't do that, I would not be able to get in there. I'd have to hit F and it would put me into the seat. But when I exit the seat, it's not going to keep me inside the cab of the ship. It's going to throw me out and I don't want it doing that. I don't want it throwing me out. Like if we land on a planet that we're going to go and we're going to do some smash and grab for Zescosium, Arrestrium, Sathium, and Neodymium. We're going to go do some smash and grab, hopefully with this guy, and just kind of get enough to get us by to get a CB going. And then we'll go back, get the CB built, and then we'll put get Mac put on the CB so we can take him in and we'll be a lot safer. So I'm actually thinking about putting uh, one of the retractable roofs on here, uh, even just a small one, so if I jump up, I can hit F5 and get the drone out so I can drill from inside the ship where it's safer. Because these weird planets, they got some weird stuff crawling around it, and I don't need that kind of aggravation. So that's what I'm thinking about right there. Boop, down we go. 
so that's where I'm at right now with it. And uh, right now I was kind of working on the front thrusters to see where I wanted these to go. And I think I do want these guys to go in here. Uh, oh, that's perfectly set up, just like that. And then I was going to kind of come up with a, a way to kind of block this in uh, so that these guys are, you know, protected. I think I'm missing a block behind that one there. I, I, I am. There we go. Like so. And let's do that right there. The thing I don't like is if I use the small angle blocks, what happens is it covers up the engine. But I think what I can do here is actually use this guy right here. Uh, how's he looking? Okay, so we need to flip him over. Oh over again there we go just like that I can take him and drag him across there like that and that should work out pretty good oh parts is parts uh, I'm very diligent about going back out and grabbing the parts off of these guys here do I have my bike on me why do I keep putting my bike I keep putting the bike away why do I do that Yes, indeed. There we go. And yes, I have. Uh, every now and again, I do jump into the seat of that gun and shoot them down out of the sky myself. I just tend to forget about it. Let's go see if these guys... We need those uh, flux coils. Those things are kind of a pain to get a hold of. These uh, droids used to drop them on a regular basis, but... Uh, these drones, I should say. But they don't seem to be doing quite as much anymore. He shot them way the heck out here back 40 for this here, I'll tell you. Okay, I'm just going to jump in and grab this stuff real quick here uh, before I lose it. And boom. Take a look at our inventory here in just a second. Uh, tab. Metal plates. Uh, we got some oscillators which are nice too. Those are pretty expensive parts too, but this is what we just got off of these guys along with some Promethium. We got three more Promethium packs off of there. So that's pretty nice. Uh, and some minigun rounds. Looks like uh, 536 this time around, which is pretty cool. I love them bringing the minigun rounds. It's really nice. Um, the ship's coming together pretty good. It's not taking me as long. What I have noticed, though, is my ships tend to taper from the edge to the, to the top. They all have that kind of taper effect to them, and I'm trying my best to kind of come up with different ways of designing things. I mean, even... Whoa, hello... Uh, even like uh, Mac here. I mean, I love the way Mac looks. Don't get me wrong. I do. But you see how it just always tapers. Uh, even um, uh, the last Merv that we built did the same thing, kind of tapers in. And this time I'm trying to get to a, a bit of a different shape going on. This was starting to taper in a lot as well. And then we've got this going on in here, which we have did together. And then I thought, you know what? I was looking at those Star Trek shuttle pictures, and one of the pictures had this this kind of fan thing that came out that the the the, the thrusters were kind of over here. But uh, I thought, well, you know what? We could probably do something like that, design something like that to have it kind of fan out like that right there, and then put the thrusters in it, and then maybe just put some kind of a. Uh, I don't know if we have to put anything over the top of those thrusters. We could leave them just like that, and they would probably look pretty cool glowing like that. Maybe add a, a flashing light or something next to them so they it flashes as we're flying through space. That could be kind of cool as well. So that's kind of where I'm at right now with this. Uh, we need to go back to you. So I'm just... Um, I'm just having a great time. That's, that's plain and simple. I'm just having a great time because it's so much fun to build... Uh, your own ship. Oh no, you know what? That's not going to go like that. This is actually changing because I am going to do a little something different here. We are going to go with uh, nothing nothing fancy or anything like that, but we're going to put that guy right there. That's going to kind of finish off that edge. Nope. I want you right there. And... Okay, I know what I wanted to do here. We're going to go like this here. And then we're going to go... Hmm. He's not exactly going to line up with that block right there, is he? Like that. And then just a flat block right here. Like that. So maybe not this one here. 
yeah, we don't need that one there. We could just keep uh, we could just keep our our flow going with this right here like that. Yeah, there we go, just like that. So it still tapers a little bit, but I'm gonna kind of square it off at the same time, so it's not completely angled in. And this is going to give us some space on the inside for our devices and our storage containers and things like that as well. And here you go. I'm getting the feel for the drone a little bit more. <laughs> he's still, he's still a challenge though. I tell you, it's not a bad challenge either. I mean, it's okay. It's all right. I'm, I'm, I'm getting used to it. Uh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it here. I'm doing it. Uh, like that. Uh, you know what? Oh, you know what we could do? We could carry this, this, this little rod all the way through here. I think. We sure could. Let's do that. We'll, we'll have a break right there, and then we'll come back. What was it? Four. We'll do four. Let's 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 come down to just where the thrusters start. So it was five, right? One, two, three, four, and five. And here we go with a solid block. This will tell me exactly where my my fan comes out that the thrusters are sitting on. And then we can come back in here with these guys. And just do like so. Like that. And back up and over. Yeah, just like that. That breaks up some of that that flatness, you know. It gives it uh, just gives it a little something to look at. Hope you guys like the fan. I like the fan. I do. I think it's pretty cool. And then we're gonna go with that right there. And we're actually gonna take one of these guys. <sighs> How many of these do I have left? I got three in my inventory right there. And I've got another one here. So we've got f I've got f well I got four left. I think I was going to do four. I should have a total of eight. Hmm. Well, we're going to splurge a little bit, people. Because we're splurgers. That's what we do. We like to splurge. Oh. And you right there. There we go. Five of them. Holy moly. Okay, so strafing is going to be a good thing, hopefully, for us. Oh, maybe this is what my other one is. There we go. Okay, beautiful. There we go, just like that. That is five from the front to the back, right? Yep, there we go. Beautiful. Okay, so that's just that's just perfect right there. Okay, and then from that point is where I start my my next spin. This is good. This is good. Since I don't have the symmetry on. One of you made a very good point, and I'll point it out again and I'll point it out again. A good point that I'm gonna point out again. Is that when you're building a ship, sometimes for me anyways. It's really all about just having fun and designing the ship. So I don't always have the entire thing mapped out in my head. So using the symmetry plane can be kind of a pain because you you know you're you're changing things over and over again. This goes here, this goes here and that goes right there and then these guys come here. Oh, I think I've got this backwards. Cuz you're 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 changing things constantly. Boom, boom. Okay. Oh, I see what I did there. Okay. I know where I went. I went to foul right here. There we go. And we're going to take a... Uh, uh, we're going to take a solid block. Put that there. 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 And there. And then we do... I believe this guy needs to spin completely around... Like so. There we go. Just like that. And then this one goes on here. I love the fact that it just lines itself up perfectly. And then I think... we got to take that one out of there, I believe. Let's see. Now we're going to put our curve on. Get our curve on, people. 
Uh, yep. And then do I have it? Do, is it is it three? Three curves. I got the thrusters sitting right on here, which I'm gonna. I know I'm gonna have to add more thrusters to this. I'm okay with that. It's the two closest on the inside. Oh, you know what? I think I've got this started too soon on the inside. This should be starting right on that angle right there. It is starting right on that angle right there. One, two, three. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. We need to come out one more with all of this stuff. Uh, here we go. Let's try this again. We need to come one more with this out. There we go. This is where the symmetry would have been good, but again, it took me a few tries to get that other side done right, so... Like that right there. There we go. And then... We'll take those guys out of there. And then I got a curve block. Oh, you know what? Let's take that out of there. Let's take that one out of there. And let's go ahead and change this to this right there. Do I need these guys here then? I think that's good there. Yeah, that's good. Let's go like that and then. Like so. Like that. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Doing some housing here. And then we have... Oh, I do that all the time. Still do it all the time. Push the wrong dang button. We are going to get into space today. We're going to make it in today's episode. And we actually don't need that there. We need this one right here. And then we need to come up. Oh my gosh. This has really got me thrown here for a loop. Up underneath there. Okay. Thruster, thruster. Okay, so throw. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so then we've got a square block. Come on. I want to build a little bit with you on camera. I don't want to do it all off camera. I've got to get used to uh, using some of this stuff on camera with you guys. And you're patient with me, so I appreciate that. And like that, right there, we've got our two spots for the thrusters right there. And then we have our second wing. Does that look right to you guys? Let's get these let's get these put into place and we'll see what we've got going on here. Uh, I need to flip them over and turn them around. Maybe we should stick them out a little bit further out. Oh no 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 no. No no no. Too far. You go too far, thruster. Too far. Let's see, how's that look? A little sticking out a little bit more in the back? Yeah, there we go. That's better. Just have them sticking out like that. Okay, so yeah, let's let's change this one around too. There we go. And number five. Yes. And yet. 
Oh my god, really? Why would you do that? Why would you do that to me, Thruster? Well, you're recording right now. That's why I'll do it to you. And zap, zap. There we go. Okay, like that, right there. And now we've got a couple of wings off to the side, just for fun, you know? Just really just for fun. Just for a little bit of shape out here. I'm wondering if I should do something to protect them. I just don't feel like anything's going to fit in there very well because we've got that curve going on in there. So I don't feel like anything's going to really fit to make it look good. So I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to leave it like that. All right, so we've got those on. It's turning into a windy day. <laughs> I feel a radiation storm coming on. Lovely. Just what I need. More radiation contamination. Uh, let's zap that off of there. We'll zap that off of there. And there I go again. Let's go tab. Let's grab these guys right here. And we're going to just kind of, I guess, seal this thing up, so to speak, here. Like that. I've uh, got landing gear on here, too. You guys see it right there. I've got them tucked up underneath here. I don't know if that's going to have an effect on it, but that's always been my dream with the landing gear, was that when they'd go up, you just wouldn't see them anymore hanging off the ship. So I'm hoping that with that being right where it is, that they'll extend when we land and jack the ship up half a block or a slab or whatever you want to call it. I think that's what it is. Uh, let's, go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and finish this off right here that and then we're going to come back with these guys right here getting into it I don't know yet I just don't know where I'm going to go with getting into it just at the moment put some of the lighter blocks on the inside I mean I could technically do something like that right there Go and back, 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 back in there. There we go, like so. So I'm going to work on this some more. I'll bring you back. We'll take a look at it, see where I'm at, what's going on. Uh, I kind of feel like what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of round this over off to the side on both edges and then get our door put in the middle here. Uh, I'll probably use the same doors we're using on Mac, the shutter doors. I really like those as opposed to the, the other doors. I just The other doors feel very bassy to me, where these guys feel like they're multifunctional. So, I'll be right back. 13 Pentaxid. That's all we have to our name right now. Not a whole lot, that's for sure. That is for darn sure. We don't have much. I think I'm ready to go. Uh, the ship is ready. I'm, well, you know what? I was going to eat a little something real quick, too. What do I need? A uh, hundred and some odd food here real quick. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and grab a... There we go. Beautiful. And I've got food on the ship. I do want to take a couple of these guys with me here. I don't think I need the windows on me anymore. And I don't need the motorbike on me either. Let's take this off of here as well. There we go. I do have our medium armor on, and I put the EVA boost on here. The medium armor has taken a beating. I'm going to have to get a repair station up and going, but I don't think I've even learned it yet. Yikes. So we got a ramp off the back, back door. We've got the hatch on the inside so I can like jettison out to, to harvest stuff without being outside. Uh, ventilator's down here. Not so sure that's such a good idea, but I'm not sure where else to put it just yet. I've got four uh, thrusters to push us up. I have our down thrusters over here. Uh, yeah, that's right. Down thrusters here. <laughs> there we go. Now I've got four thrusters in the back and four in the front. I'm hoping that's going to be enough. We'll see if it is. Uh, we're just going to deal with the power we've got, and we'll see how things go. Let's close this up. I don't have a signal thing on here yet. I've got a constructor here, a uh, storage container here with some rails to make it look like it's being held back. I've got a fridge right here with some food. Our O2 is in here as well. Over on this side, the O2 station with O2. It's been filled up. Armor locker over here with uh, nothing really in it. And then some storage containers here, and a storage container there, and we've got our ammo right here, which is ready to rock and roll. And now we're going to jump in the cockpit. Aha! Uh -huh. Now, what I'm kind of curious about is to see just... Ah, you would do that to me. It's 
kind of hoping that wouldn't happen, but it looks like it is happening. How's that? How's that come down? Right on the money. Okay, so yeah, okay, cool. The landing gear does come out from underneath there, so that's nice. So when we're flying, it's going to be tucked away. That's perfect. I was hoping I wouldn't have that radiation sound here. I got like a block and a half or two blocks between me and the stuff. Whatever. Here we go. Uh, wow, the window is a block low. Huh. Um, hmm. <laughs> That's not something I was counting on. You don't really know until you get into the cockpit what's going to happen here. Now, come on. It's not showing I'm really getting too much. Is it coming through the core, maybe? Hmm. Uh. I'm going to lose all that. Hold on a second. I'm going to take the oxygen out of here. I'm not going to lose that oxygen. Uh, let's go 800. There we go. Let's turn this off. Yeah, the window is stupid looking. Huh. It's just dumb. Can't even see out the dang thing. Let's see if I got some glass so we can fix that up real quick. I think I can fix it up real quick. I don't know. Um, armored window L, SVABA. Uh, here they are right here. Uh, odds are I'm going to need a few more of these as well. Sorry about that. Thought I had it, but I do not. Uh, one, two, three, four. Let's make five of those real quick. I think I have everything on the ship that I want to have on the ship. If I go to the SV and look at the parts and stuff, I'm pretty sure this guy is up underneath the ship. We got an armor locker. I'm going to add a sensor on there so the ramps and stuff work automatically. We've got the light on there. Everything I see on here I do have on the ship, so I'm pretty sure we're good to go with the SV as is. Boop. It's taken me a long time to do this. <laughs> Much long time. Very long time. Um... Like that. Okay. And then I need these guys right here. And we need to go with the flat block right here. This is not how I wanted this to look, but we'll we'll make do with it today. I just I wish there was a way we had uh, a different kind of glass that would uh, be better for for this sort of thing. So that's going to have to sit back a little bit further than that, than I, I really wanted it to, but we've got room up here. So what I can do is probably, and I've seen this happen before to me, where I get the front end of the ship shot off, and then I'm just sitting here, uh, you know, like that. That should work right there. So let's just put those, we'll just put those in our inventory. Let's go to the P menu. Let's see if we can, how much of this... 81%. Oh man, that's not a very good, that's not a very good amount. We could jump to 13. 13, huh? Ay, ay, ay. It's not very good. It's not very good at all. Uh, okay, back to here again. Let's fill this back up. There we go. And O2 is in the fridge. We don't need it. Okay, beautiful. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take these guys throw them right down in here. We got some backup fuel. I'm going to put that in my inventory just so we have it handy. Let's get in here. Let's fire it up. All systems on. Oxygen on. Thrusters on. Let's go to V mode. Alt. Scroll back a little bit. It looks like a little shuttle, does it not? I think it does. not have enough lift to get off the ground ladies and gentlemen give me one second we're gonna have to add a couple more of those guys in there I had to swap out the thrusters for a larger set because the smaller ones were not going to work even with six of them underneath there it wasn't enough to get the ship off the ground so I put the larger ones on to get us off the ground so let's uh let's go to space and see what's happening this works great with six of them we get up and going right away power 63 minutes we're pretty good for a full tank of gas i'd say we're all right once we get out of the atmosphere we'll have uh, probably plenty of time uh, we should probably reload those guns as well and uh get out of alt and let's reload this guy as well 
we go. Beautiful. Out we go. Our first trip into space. Lovely. Get past the uh, fog there. Oh, man. I love the fact that we are back out here again. Oh, man. Look at this. Looks like we've got pretty good speed with just the four thrusters in the front and four in the back. Our little shuttle to get us around here up in space. See what there is to see. Oh, let's check our map real quick too. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so the moon. Here we go. We can get to Barkit, 13.5, the Thrudur Astro Asteroid Field, we can get there. We can, oh, the Rila Delta Station, we cannot get to that. Do we not have a moon either? Oh, wow. Our choices of where we can actually go are extremely limited on this seed. I don't see a moon, do you? Oh wow! So my uh, my my thought of let's go to the moon. Well, this looks close. I'm trying to remember how to turn the auto brake off. That's not though. That's not close at all. Yeah, there it is. Okay. My mistake. My mistake. Let's uh let's cruise down by the asteroid belt here real quick and see if we've got any asteroids that are of interest to us right off the bat that we can highlight, open up. So let's got uh, a little Oh, what do we have here? blue oh a trading station oh that's fantastic okay so is that going to show up on my map not yet we're going to want to mark that for sure oh it's an admin trading station i don't think that means anything for me does it is that just a multiplayer thing I think this is just a multiplayer trading area. I think. I'm not sure. Let me know if this is a viable place for us to go and trade at. Because if it is, uh, we can get some stuff that we need from right there. For sure. Let's click on our map. Uh, waypoint. Iron Asteroid. There we go. I was going to go to the moon, but I think what I'm going to do is cruise this asteroid belt and see what there is to see. We should have our abandoned... the fleet of ships. I would hope. God, I hope. Oh, what's this here? Oh, that's not good. It's not friendly. It's moving, too. It's definitely moving. That's got to be some kind of a freighter or something, huh? That we could attack? Oh, I bet he's got some big guns on him, though, doesn't he? I bet he does. Oh, what's over here? There's all kinds of stuff out here. It's yellow. Oh! Not good, it's red. Ogatsu Orbital Hub. 
Oh wait, it didn't shoot at me. Maybe it's... Maybe it's not... Oh my god, that's really difficult to see. <laughs> Guessing they're on the other side of it? Or are they in it? They're inside, like trapped inside there. For some reason this feels like it's glitched. Huh, I think it, I think this has got to be a bug or something, right? I mean, this can't be a legit thing here. drone is like stuck in there. Thanks for the XP. That's crazy. I've never seen that thing before. Is there a way into it? Other than that? I think I'm causing damage to it. I am. took those blocks out, but what about these over here? Maybe this would be a better place to kind of shoot at it. We don't seem to be getting attacked by anyone. I'm just curious if there's a way I can get in without having to go through that front door there. Gravity generator in there, I see that. Oh, I think I'm I just think I just shot myself a little bit there. Okay, so we know that's there. That's the thing we could do. You guys could tell me all about that and what it is. That'd be cool. We gotta find all kinds of cool stuff out here. Things I've never seen before. That's awesome. Yeah, that freighter, I don't know about that, though. That's probably not a good thing to go after right there. I would imagine you'd probably shoot us down real quick. 
Uh, we'll have to get a CB going. It's really super powerful. So we can ride up alongside him and take him out. And we've got the moon, of course, that we've got to go to to get more pentaxid so that we can actually do some you know, warping here. Very, very cool. All right, I'm going to have to wrap up the episode right there, guys. Uh, there's... Is this another one? No, that's that trading post, huh? That's that trading post, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to wrap up the episode right there. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 3 I want you to have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I do look forward to talking to you again next time. It's good to be back in space again.